Hello, everyone. Uh, this video is for my technical writing class as we are now into week four of the course. Um, let me share the screen, take a look at what we've got going on for the week. I want to break down the two assignment prompts that we have to just to make sure that everybody's on the same page and we all get um, as high as great as possible. So let's take a look at the announcement for the week and then we'll look at the two assignments. <clears throat> so. Um, Last week, we focused on learning about different types of writing and formulating thesis sentences and outlines for the topics that we chose in the topic discussion. Um, it's okay if you're still kind of, even at this point, still sort of constructing ideas. The outline that you compose doesn't necessarily need to be the outline that you use for your formal report later on in the class. It was just to get you thinking of structure and chronological or not necessarily chronological, but logical order of your ideas, things like that. Um, this week, we're going to learn about resources. So <clears throat> um, academic writing is based almost entirely or should be based almost entirely on research and evidence. Um, third person objective studies show um, research suggests kind of statements. It should not be based on first person subjective opinion. Um, so with that in mind, we have to learn about how to take research and integrate it into our writing. How do we take something that somebody else wrote and published in a study on a medical journal and take that information and put it into our writing, into our project? So um, that's what we're gonna be learning about this week. Uh, we're going to be doing it with the summary. Our, our work for the week is the summary assignment, which is due Friday the 20th at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time, um, as well as the references assignment, which is due Sunday. Neither of these is very hard, I don't think. Um, it's a decent bit of writing and a little bit of research, but it shouldn't be too challenging. Um, let me go ahead and get into the assignment prompt, and we will start with the summary assignment. We'll take a look at what the prompt says, um, kind of break it down a little bit, go over the rubric, et cetera. Okay, so you should be seeing the summary assignment prompt here. It says the purpose of this assignment is to demonstrate your ability to summarize, paraphrase, and appropriately quote the work of others using technical writing standards and correct citation format. For this course and all other courses, as far as my knowledge, um, we are going to be using the APA format. Um, you can the best way to learn about APA format is to go to the APA OWL Purdue website. Um, OWL meaning online writing library. Um, it's Purdue University's Writing Center website, but it's like pretty much the best guide and available for how to write papers in APA or MLA for that matter. But APA is what we're using, uh, APA format. Um, so the idea is here, you're gonna be Using the PMI online library, specifically the databases are awesome. Um, and you're gonna locate a peer reviewed article related to the controversial topic that you selected in a previous lesson in this course. If for some reason you absolutely can't find an article on the online library, you can use Google. You just need to make sure that your source is coming from an extremely reliable, credible source and not something biased or opinionated. Um, so. I would highly recommend you use the databases. You can start your database search by clicking on library in the Blackboard menu, clicking on ProQuest or, or one of the other databases, click on the box next to peer reviewed and then type in your search. All right, so that's how you do the actual searching, the research. Let's talk about the actual assignment. You need to write a one to two page summary of the article. Um, so not that bad, one, one page, one to two pages is not bad at all. Um, but make sure that you have all of these little details included. You need to have an introduction to the article. For some reason, students miss this one a lot with this assignment. Um, they don't introduce the article. They like assume, I don't really know, they assume that I know what they read somehow. So your, your, your opening line should be something like, in the article, quotation marks, um, the benefits of experimental cancer treatment, close quotation marks, written by, insert name of author, published in the American Journal of whatever, right? Introduce the article before you start summarizing it. Um, 
Two is to paraphrase two specific ideas or details from the article. Paraphrasing is where you read the article or you read something and then you put it in your own words. You still need to use in-text parenthetical APA citations when you paraphrase. Even though you put the ideas into your own words, they're not your ideas, so you still need to give credit. So when you paraphrase or summarize, you still need to cite, even though you didn't quote. Um, then you need to do an appropriate in-text citation of each ideal idea, idea slash detail. We just talked about that, parenthetical in-text citations. You need to have one direct quote from the article with in-text citations. So according to, insert author, open quotes, blah, blah, you know, according to Colby, open quotes, this is an example of an in-text citation, close quotes, and then parentheses. You need to have a decent conclusion. Please don't just end suddenly. Um, and then you need to have a reference for the article. So um, APA format governs three main things. It governs the formatting of your paper, what font you use, where you put the header, all that kind of stuff. It, for, it governs in-text parenthetical citations, and it governs a reference page. Um, a reference page is going to, a reference means like the complete, all the details needed to locate the article. Um, there is a proper way of doing it. Again, look at OWL Purdue APA for guidance. Um, for some reason, students like to always use like the built-in one on Microsoft Word. It does it wrong every single time. Every single time it will cost you points. Just look it up. Look up how to do it on the OWL Purdue website. It is not very challenging. If you have questions with the OWL Purdue website, let me know and I'll help you out. Um, so that's all you have to do here. You write a one to two page summary where you introduce the article, you paraphrase it. So you're telling the summarizing means you're telling me what the article is all about. You're paraphrasing two specific details, putting them in your own words. You're giving me at least one direct quote from the article, and you're using in-text citations throughout. Um, if we look at the actual grading rubric down here, it's 16 points for paraphrasing, quoting, and citations, broken down into more detail up here, and then five points for your writing level. Keep it third-person point of view. Like all academic writing, please do not begin with the article I read was called. Don't use first-person point of view. Okay, so that's the first one. That is the summary assignment. Let's take a look at the references assignment next. <clears throat> okay, um, the purpose of this assignment is to demonstrate your ability to differentiate types of sources and to document sources correctly in a reference list. Um, you need to find three different sources, one from, the, one from the online library, one from a professional or official website, and one from a general web search. Um, you need to then, there are three main steps here. You need to write a one paragraph summary for each source, meaning that you'll have three total paragraphs. And you need to use in-text citations for each source. So your summaries should have parenthetical in-text citations. You then need to rank your sources from most reliable to least reliable. And you need to explain and support your rankings. This can just be like a short paragraph where you say like, my first article comes from the American Journal of Medicine, which is the most reliable source I was able to find. It's a long-standing academic journal. My second source comes from some website I found on Google. It seems reliable, whatever. My third one comes from a blog. It's not reliable at all, right? Just a short paragraph, we explain the reliability, why you ranked them the way they did. And then you create an APA style reference page um, for your three sources. So just like with a summary assignment, you, on the summary assignment, you would have had one reference. Here you would have three. You would follow the guides, preferably the guides on APA OWL Purdue for writing references. Um, references go in alphabetical order, meaning whatever source, um, whatever the first letter of each source is, or each reference, that's how you organize it. So alphabetically, right? Um, and then it's 18 points possible, 15 for the summary, the ranking, and the references, three points for the writing level. So just to clarify again, this sounds a little bit more detailed than it is. All you are really doing here um, is writing three, three paragraphs, three short little summary paragraphs. So you read an article, write a little summary of it, which include in-text citations, and then a little explanation ranking them, and then a reference page. Okay, um, that's really it. Remember, the summary assignment is due Friday night. The references assignment is due Sunday night. The references assignment in the prompt has a weird thing where it says to save it as summary. Just ignore it. Save it as references or whatever you want to save it as. I don't really care because I'm not picking up that. Um, 
that's it. If you have questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Um, yeah, email me, text me, whatever, and I will help you out. Uh, that's it. Have a good week. If you need anything, let me know, and I'll see you next time.